Okay, uh, same kind of topic. Actually, I'm going to read. Uh, I don't have enough room for it on there, but... Um, Okay, seems like so many young people come at the issues in church or the world from an emotional view instead of a biblical view. Uh, an example would be, let the Holy Spirit do its job convincing people and just love people. So I talked to this person beforehand, and the question goes, hey, my friend has a problem. I'm just going to love him. I'm going to wrap my arms around him, show him that I care. I'm not going to point things out or make them uncomfortable or do anything that's going to sever the friendship, you know, as far as talking about sin or pointing out problems is going to be uncomfortable. What do you say to a whole generation of Christianity or whatever that's kind of, that's their MO? If that's your MO, um, that's not biblical. Um, there, there are times when that's exactly what you need to do. And, and so the Bible uh, talks about uh, the fact that um, a friend, you know, love covers a multitude of sins. And, and so there, there are times when you just need to be with people and keep your mouth shut and, and that kind of thing. But there, you know, if, you, if you're really a friend to somebody, you know, if you saw somebody who's, you know, you, you, got a, you got a best buddy who's driving with you and he's about to drive off a, a, a you know, off a, off a cliff or something, you don't just sit there and, and let him do that. What you, what you do is you uh, come along and you warn him and you try to stop him from going in a direction that's going to destroy his life. Well, it's, a, it's the same thing in, in life in general. Um, there's, a, there's a passage in uh, Proverbs, uh, in the book of Proverbs in chapter 27. Let me, let me get there. It says, it says this, um, Open rebuke is better than love carefully concealed. And it goes on to say, faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. And so if you're a friend, there's going to be times when open rebuke is required. It's something that, that needs to be done for, for people to stop them from uh, going in certain directions. I certainly um, want that happening in my life. Actually, one of the, one of the things that um, I have going on around here uh, with my employees is um, I, I am not a guy who wants to just have everything my way and we're just going to do it my way. If somebody, if somebody has a better idea, then I'm uh, bound to listen to them. And if they know that I'm doing something messed up and they don't let me know, I actually get, I get more angry about that than being contradicted. Because uh, what, we're, what we're doing is we're working for Jesus and God needs to be glorified in the things that we're doing. And so somebody knows that there's a problem. They don't tell me about the problem. And I go on, you know, willy-nilly having, having, you know, being completely ignorant of an issue. I don't really appreciate that from people who are working for me or are supposed to be my friends. Uh, there's, a, there's another passage in Proverbs um, chapter 28, uh, verse 23. It says this, He re who rebukes a man will find more favor afterward than he who flatters with the tongue. And so, uh, uh, again, the, the, the Bible isn't behind the kind of attitude where actually I don't want any conflict and I don't want to cause any problem and I don't want to necessarily uh, lose a friend. You notice how often I said I? In those sentences, that's all about me, and that's not all. Um, that's not all about the people who are around me. And so, as a Christian, I'm supposed to be others-centered, and so I, I'm supposed to be doing what's right by people, um, not what makes them feel good. I'm supposed to be doing what what's right by people, not what makes me feel good. It's just what's right by them. God and God does this all the time. You know, every, every single time that we're convicted of our sin, that's God speaking to me about the fact that I'm out of line. And the reason that he does that is because he loves me. Well, I'm supposed to be like Jesus. And so be like Jesus.